I'm Marissa Gonzalez, founder of AMG Style, a personal styling and shopping service for men and women, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I want to talk to you about women's wardrobe essentials. You know when you look in your closet and you feel like, oh, I have nothing to wear. That's why a wardrobe staple is so enduring. A closet built on a streamlined selection of items makes day-to-day -day dressing infinitely easier because it requires little guesswork, whether you're getting ready for work, brunch, or anything that can come up in between. If you don't know where to begin when it comes to building the essential section of your wardrobe, the pieces that I'm about to show you are going to be an excellent primer. All right, so let's dive on in. First things first, black pants. A pair of well-fitting black pants will become your Monday through Sunday staple. Whether it's for work or brunch, these are workhorses. My favorite are my Veronica Beard ankle pants because I can easily wear them with flats or heels, making them extremely versatile. All right, let's see what's next on the list of wardrobe essentials. This one's a little controversial, but a plain white tee. And I know a lot of you are gonna say, but Marissa, I'm extremely messy. I am the messiest human in the world. And I always seem to be wearing white when I wanna eat spaghetti. It makes a lot of sense. But anyway, hear me out. There's nothing more versatile than a plain white tee. Whether you style it with your favorite pair of jeans, under your favorite blazer, a fancy skirt, or under a slip dress, no closet is complete without one. And this is where I tell my clients, you don't need to invest a lot of money in white t-shirts, especially if you're someone who's messy like me. Go to Target and buy the ones that are under $10 and you won't feel guilty if you make a mess. Next on the list, and this is where you can invest a little bit more, a black t-shirt. Because these don't show stains like a white t-shirt does and they serve a very similar purpose. Even though personally, I feel that white goes with a lot more. Like you can easily pair that with navy. However, I do feel like black and navy is a great color combination, but we'll get into that another day. My favorite black t-shirt that I have, it's actually not a t-shirt, it's a muscle tank, that I got from the Shoe Hive in Old Town Alexandria is a Current Elliott muscle tank. I literally have them in every color, gray, black, and white, and I wear them 365 all of the time. Other brands I love are Uniqlo, Rag & Bone, um, Madewell Tees are great, and I love Everlane. Okay, so next on the list, a blazer. I do feel like the first blazer you should own should be a black blazer. And I don't really wanna hear like, but Marissa, I don't work in a corporate office. There are so many types and styles of black blazers and every single one elevates your look. So I want you to start simple and start with black. And then from there, you know, you can go into colors, textures, things like that. Next on the list are sleek pumps. I always recommend getting a pointed toe or anything with a longer toe box, just because a shoe with a longer toe box elongates your leg line and makes you appear taller without doing anything except just having a pointed toe. Um, these are super fun. They're just like more of a rocker style, but totally appropriate for work or after work. Um, I do love a good block heel just because they add more comfort and they're super on trend. Um, another essential is a nude pump just because when you do wear skirts and dresses, you want a low contrast shoe, meaning that it blends in with your skin tone. Just keep that leg line going and it won't cut off your leg line. Next shoe is an evening shoe. Um, I know not everyone goes to evening events all the time, but it's just a good shoe to have in your wardrobe. And I love ones that are, um, I guess you could say mixed media, like silver and gold put together. That way you never have to worry what shoe you're gonna wear because it will go with everything. Next up are flats. These are just as chic yet much more comfortable than your three inch pumps. And you can wear them to work um, with your ankle pants, but they also elevate your t-shirt and jeans look. I still recommend doing a longer toe box. It doesn't have to be super pointed, but like this Veronica Beard almond toe looks just as good. And then we have sneakers. 
I like, um, I feel like everyone should start with the white sneaker, something that comes below the ankle so you can wear it um, with skirts, dresses, things like that. And they don't look as frumpy, if you know, you want to be honest. Don't look as frumpy as like wearing a running shoe with your outfit. Um, next are tote bags. A great hands-free catch-all like this one will stay in style forever. So it's always good to have. Okay, so next is my take on an LBD or a little black dress. A lot of women feel like a little black dress needs to be super sexy. I feel like if you're going to build an essential wardrobe, you need a little black dress that's versatile. So my favorite is my uh, slip dress where I can put a tee underneath it and make it more casual. Or I can pair it with my evening shoes and sparkly earrings and wear it to a wedding or any formal event that I have. So for me, it's a versatile LBD that every woman should have in their closet. Next on my list, and this is also controversial, um, is a leather or faux leather moto jacket. I feel like it adds instant edge to anything that you're wearing, even if you're not someone who's into ripped denim and rocker style. And if you're still thinking, you know, oh Marissa, black moto jacket really isn't my thing, you can do it in a different color, like this blush one, or, you know, gray suede. It kind of takes away some of that, you know, greaser look that a lot of women are not into. Um, you can also do a leather bomber. That's a great option. But I do feel like a leather jacket is a wardrobe staple that every woman should own. Next is a white button down. Now, I'm not talking about the one where, you know, it would be tapered in and it was strictly for work. I'm talking about a little bit more relaxed fit, like the one that I'm wearing, but in white, just because it skims the body better than those stiff ones do. And you can wear it open with the dress underneath it, or you can tie it around, you know, tie it at the bottom, wear it with a pair of shorts. The options are kind of endless with a more relaxed fit button down. For work, when it comes to wardrobe essentials, I feel like a white button down, a white collared button down isn't the best option because you do layer with blazers and cardigans and that collar can get really fussy. So for work, a collarless button down or a um, just like a silk shell is your best option. Okay, so up next, and this might be a little controversial for some, but bear with me, are faux leather leggings. My favorite are from Spanx. Um, I just love how faux leather leggings instantly up your style game without compromising comfort and function. But remember, leggings aren't pants. So always, always, always pair with a longer top or sweater. Okay. And finally, last but certainly not least, a pair of dark wash skinny jeans. Every woman needs to own a pair of jeans, the most versatile dark wash skinny jeans. Why? Because they're dark enough where they almost look black that you can easily dress them up and replace them for your black pants, or you can wear them with white sneaks and a tee for a casual, really awesome look. And that's it. So thank you so, so much for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified when I upload my next video. Bye! I don't want no jail! <laughs> okay. That's why the concept of a wardrobe staple is so enduring. Because it's a closet of string... <laughs> <laughs> I made my phone do something weird.